I also have the casting of Frank Stone. Welcome to Cedar Hills. Great to video. The casting of Frank Stone is set in a imaginary piece of northwestern America, Cedar Hills. Northwestern. A town that's probably gone through a lot of regeneration. It was a town built around a steel mill. And that oh, steel so this is like Oregon and like Washington. And it became repopulated and then become redeveloped in a careless kind of way. So you have a lot of clash and a lot of bits of left over. So there are old pieces amongst the new pieces. There are people who've oh. come here because it's close to where they need to work and they don't have any of the values of the original inhabitants. And the original inhabitants' ideas become lost, but they're still there under the surface to be picked at. On the outskirts of the town is the Cedar Steel Mill and it's a massive industrial complex. And we okay. see it earlier in the game when it's still active and you've got the giant furnace tower, which kind of looks like this industrial haunted house. And then later in the game, we revisit the same location and it's since been closed oh. and it's been abandoned and it's all overgrown for over a decade, uh -oh. due in no small part to the events that happen earlier in the game. One of the really great things about it is when the player, but also some of the characters are able to retread some of the same footsteps that characters do earlier in the game and uh -oh. you start to see an echo of some of the tragic events that happened there in the past. There are particular locations where there's a real sense of death in the air. What is that? Oh no. Okay, there's so this is actually There's one particular location like in the mill that's quite key and that's the furnace chamber. Earlier in the game, the furnace chamber is alive and brimming with fire and energy. When you then find it again, in 1980, there's been lots of overgrowth, lots of rust, and a sense of nature taking over. But in this particular place, anything that has grown here has since died. For whatever uh -oh. reason, there's just something that's off about this place. It just killed anything that's tried to grow here. It's a place I'd like to go and make a movie. What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. We are using Unreal 5. We've been really focused okay, on that sense. from the very beginning. It's one of the first projects from Supermassive that's using that platform, which is very exciting. We've okay. been able to harness lots of new technologies because of that engine upgrade. We are using Lumen for our environment lighting, which gives us a lot more flexibility and increased quality. We're also using Nanite for all of our environments, which allows our artists to include so much more detail in the final product than they were before, which is very exciting. Nanite's this new virtualized geometry which enables us to have incredibly detailed geometry throughout all our environments. So whereas before we'd have to heavily optimize all of our game meshes so that they can run efficiently, it also means that we can do our own scanning for photogrammetry, which is where you take a lot of photographs of something and you can generate a completely lifelike representation of whatever that object is. So with Nanite, we can just Ooh. drop it in as is and we keep all oh, that so it's like, so it's like, detail it's and like a cheese. It's, like, it's like a cheating. Oh, I like that. There's a particular joking, road that's I'm... just about 20 minutes from the studio <laughs> and we went out and we scanned the verges. They've got these really high verges. Oh, that's, and the road oh, that's nice. Itself, I like that. Because it happened to be the time of year that's correct for the games. We went out and we did it when we could, which is in the autumn. The leaves all looked exactly right, and that now appears in the game. Wait, what? I hope that's something that plays. Oh, no, okay, that's fine. I like that a lot. Some of these nods we're making to Dead by Daylight, and some of the iconography of the entity and the lore and all that kind of stuff there. And as they explore further, we're hoping to strike this balance oh, no. where it's kind Ew. of scary. You don't want to press on. You want to just get back in the car and go. But there's something about the place that piques your interest, oh, and you want to go and no, explore it. Bro. Maybe against your better judgment. I probably shouldn't be telling you this. What? But. What's up? There's more than one way into that mill. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The casting of Frank Stone. Are they going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see. Pre-order now. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, wait, wait. Did they give us a, a date? The deluxe edition. Uh, oh, okay. Available September 3rd. So the game comes out September. Okay, I'm digging it. So wait, it comes out literally next month. Bro, listen, I've been excited. I've been waiting for a new super massive game. You guys know, man, I'm a big Until Dawn fan. Um, it's crazy because, uh, bro, Until Dawn was like 10 years ago, bro. Like that, that's like, was, I th no, it was like, okay, realistically, it was like nine years ago. Well, it was about to be nine years, I think. But bro, like, Man, like Until Dawn, um, games like The Quarry, um, bro, I love those games so much. I think there was like an uh, like houses, like I think was it House of Ashes? That game was good too, or was that Dark? 
uh, who, who created that game? Was it, uh, it's like Dart something, I forgot. Maybe they created that game or whatever, but I think Supermassive has something to do with that as well. I, I don't know. Um, but, bro, until dawn, I loved it. The quarry, I loved it. And I believe that the that Supermassive made the devil in me. Let me let me search it up. Let me do, let me do a quick uh, mid-time, uh, mid-time out video search. Because who created the devil in me? I think it was, um, let me see. I think it was Supermassive Game that, uh, one second. The, uh, bro, I typed like an old man. Like, what? Uh, the devil in, uh, the devil in me. I think it was Supermassive Games. Hold up. One second, survival game. Um. Oh, Supermassive Games. Yeah, Supermassive Games created it. Wow. Bro, wait, wait. So they, bro, they made Until Dawn. They made The Devil in Me. Obviously, like, you can tell by, like, like how a game is made, especially, like, how the story goes and, like, like, like their niche, if that makes sense. Like, 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 um, like, Supermassive Games, like, their niche is, you know, um, like, a group of, like, people or whatever. Or a group of like teenage kids or whatever, and then they mix all they all make stupid choices and they all like just get hunted down by this menace. Uh, so obviously, in Until Dawn, it was you know it, it wasn't even just like it wasn't even the Wendigos. I think Josh he was stupid I'm talking about some oh it's a prank, like I, bro. But every time he says that, bro, oh boy, this gonna get so many clicks. Like bro, that's that's my job. Like my job is to make the content, not you, bro. Bro, your sisters died, dummy. Tell myself, oh, I, oh it's, a, it's a prank. It's an online thing. I, what? What are you talking about? But, um, so yeah, like, Until Dawn, like, that was crazy. The Quarry, um, in my opinion, bro, the Quarry was amazing, too. Like, I, I, I know, like, a lot of people probably, like, can't really, you know, I think a lot of people like the game. Some people really couldn't click with it. I did hear about, like, some people saying that it, they, they were expecting, like, an Until Dawn, too, which is dumb because, like, the game is called The Quarry. It's a whole nother thing. Um, but the quarry, in my opinion, was depth, bro. I loved the quarry, bro. I loved it. Um, the devil in me, I loved it, bro. I love the devil in me. So, um, for, with this game, you know, obviously, like, it's, it's a group of kids. Um, so, we got a little bit of information. So, it takes place in, like, the, in, like, the Northwest uh, America. So, we're just going to say, like, Oregon, Washington, right? We're going to just say that. Um, and, and so, basically, it's, like, this old uh, steel mill, I, I'm guessing, they go through the steel mill. I'm, bro, bro, they look like older teenagers. So, of course, they're going to be stupid, making stupid decisions. Uh, and there's going to be a guy in there just chopping everybody down. It looks really good. It looks really, really, really good. Um, and so, yeah, I, I like that a lot. And I do like, and I even noticed this, but I do like how they took in real life footage of like, uh, of like roads and like, uh, like leaves and like the, and the rocks and stuff. I like how they just took that and just put that in the game. And it looks really good. Um, bro, that Unreal Engine 5 hits absolutely different. Let me just say that for you. Other than that, man, I I'm ready for um, just a great story, man. I'm ready for a great story. I'm ready for those death animations because we all know um, some of us were... <laughs> Some of us are going to get everybody killed. Some of us are going to save everybody. But best believe, bro, uh, on this channel, we're covering literally every possibility. You guys know how we do, bro. We did it with the quarry. We did it with Until Dawn. Uh, we did it with the devil in me. And we're going to do it with this game as well. So uh, I I'm definitely excited to see, man, like the story about this. And I don't know why, bro, but I get this eerie feeling that this game is going to be way scarier than the devil in me. Like, like the devil in me, bro. The Devil in Me was scary, bro, but, like, this game, I don't know why, bro, but, like, bro, like, even, like, even the ending part of this video, where he was like, oh, I think there's more, uh, more than one way to get in, and it, and it, like, and, like, it ended, even that part, like, kind of startled me, I'll be honest with you, like, bro, I can't lie to you, bro, I don't know, bro, I have a bad feeling about this game, but this game, bro, the jump scares, and, like, oh, my goodness gracious, bro, my heart, bro, my heart, Cause my heart can't take it anymore. My heart just can't take it, bro. My bro, like, bro, my heart can't take it, bro. These jump scares, bro. Y'all gonna, bro, y'all gonna, y'all gonna hurt somebody, bro. For real, bro. <laughs> like it's not even funny at this point. So, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? And uh, I'm really excited about uh, this game actually coming out. I'm glad that you know the, the game didn't get pushed back to 2027. Um, I'm not going wood, you know, just in case anything happened, but. Uh, I'm glad that we actually have a have a um, a date for that game, and uh, man, yeah, I, I'm pretty excited about this game, man, coming out. So make sure you guys like it, subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy my reaction to this. And other than that, man, let's just pray that the game actually comes out 
on a third because we all know you know, listen man you know we know how that gaming space works man you know a game will be like oh you know i'm coming out on christmas you know then christmas come through you know oh my bad i'm coming out on, <laughs> on halloween bro that's next year yeah bro i'm sorry bro we have you know we have to back up I mean, and at the end of the day listen i understand like how how gaming you know companies wearing stuff like that you know some you know run into like financial problems and stuff like that which is totally fine some run into like you know other problems that that are really major so at the end of the day you know i don't really blame them for that uh but you know let, let's be honest but we've all been like you know waiting for a game and that thing got pushed back like three months it it, 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 it hurts your heart a little bit so hopefully the game actually comes out on the 3rd of september see you guys that fix them out and peace